Guys, look. Over there. In the right hand corner of the screen. It's a ghost. Wait. It's an yeah, you can only see it if I'm in this position right here. You can see that there's a ghost over there. Like, you guys can see that, right? I'll zoom in in post so you guys can see the ghost. That is a ghost. Like, straight up, that is a legit ghost. It actually looks sort of like Fee, but... Whoa, that is creepy. Like, I'm not e I'm not seeing things. This is a ghost. I, I Only if I, the camera's in this position and I'm standing right around he right here can I see the ghost you know what we should do with ghosts charge dun 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 oh it's you well there's a ghost behind you dude or you're a ghost or your mom's a ghost and she's floating right what do you have to say hi there mutt that mist seems to have vanished except for the ghost behind me that has not vanished except it has I feel raring to go I'll be having a few drinks in Yama's restaurant tonight. Good for you, buddy. What's wrong with you, Mutt? Why are you staring at me like that? See, see some kind, of, see some kind of troubles in my eyes, do you? Ha ha ha! Why would I have any troubles? All's well with the world, as far as I can tell. Too well, even. I'll be having a few drinks in Yama's restaurant tonight. Uh, that seems, maybe. Okay, that ghost. It's actually his inner self crying for help because on the outside he's a happy dude but on the inside he's in despair and he's trying to stand up and get on his feet like he was with the mist and in reality his he hasn't changed his soul is still on that wall over there like we saw it struggling to get up well I guess we'll find out tonight when we go have some drinks with him. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, I had Nova on for two episodes, which I really should have said in the last two episodes, but we'll look past it. Uh, we completed a bunch of side quests, and in this episode, uh, more side quests! I know, I remember last episode when I was like, we're gonna do story stuff. Actually, no. We're gonna be doing a few more side quests because I actually didn't know that there were any more um, back when I recorded the episode with Nova and myself. So yeah, we're going to be completing a few short side quests. They're not super long, but they're not sh super short either. Um, with me cutting things out, it should be pretty easy to to uh, to accomplish in one episode and still have time to spare to maybe do other things, though no promises. Okay, so you, you remember that guy, the broken up dude that we need to help who's walking he warped back over here and he's walking over there. But uh, you remember him? He said, I'm going to go to Yama's restaurant. Well, this is Yama's restaurant. I just want to point out, and if you have trouble finding it, it's the one with the big deck right here. Because this is like the best place to eat. I'm not I'm not being sarcastic. This is so cool. Look at the view. You can see over there. You can see you can see Mr. Flower's house. You can see the bridge over there. and the Oh, and the pond. The duck pond. Or do they have ducks in... Japan? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's a really cool place to eat. So this is how you can find this place. Also, look at the map. It's in the upper right-ish co hand corner. Or northeast. <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and go inside. I know he said that he'd be in Tom's restaurant tonight. Ooh, chest. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so flighty this episode. I remember, yeah, you, I know he said that he'd be in uh, Yama's restaurant tonight, but I would like to go there during the day because there is something we can do there. Something that ha has been a long time in waiting. You, you guys can see what I mean when we're inside. Okay, Yama's restaurant. It's not too busy. We mostly have this girl, a waitress, who has makeup like a cat. Okay, I'll roll with it. <sighs> the afternoon is so relaxing. I mean, everything's all ready. Now, all we have to do is wait for the customers. Okay, she's dressed. She has makeup like a cat. And they don't have customers during the day. Like seriously, look at her little her little character portrait on her text box. She has cat ears, and she has like whiskers. And like, why is she? Why does she look like a cat? Why on earth do you look like a cat woman? Seriously, get you don't have a tail too. What? She has a tail. She has a tail. 
What is this restaurant? Is it like a Halloween restaurant? I don't know. That's really strange. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like against it. I mean, if if people want to dress up in a restaurant, I guess they can. But you're only gonna have business on one day of the year, and that's Halloween. So I don't know. Also, there's a pig up there on the on the ceiling. That's fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, this area. This seems to be the kitchen. Whoa. Look at this setup. You have like one oven, two, three, four. Wait, let me count these again. Two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. You have ten ovens, or th not twelve, eleven. You have ten ovens and a gigantic eleventh one. And also the infinity symbol on a wall, which is interesting. An infinity on fire. That, that's not a good uh, omen. Hello there, pup. You look like someone who appreciates fine cuisine. Proper diet is the key to life. Eat well and be healthy. Why, thank you, sir. May you live live well and prosper. Yam, I'm Yama, the top chef in Seon City. Pleased to meet ya. And you look like a cat also. But at least he has a cool name. Fiery Chef, Yama. What do you think about this huge pot on this giant stove? Impressive, eh? I invested every yen of my name into him. I think this guy would work with the western accent. I had to get him special order for what I'm aiming to do. Ever heard of the tale about that mushroom? There's not a single chef in the world that doesn't know about it. I'm talking about the legendary golden mushroom. Golden mushroom! Well, that <laughs> that brings to mind my conversation about how I was trying to convince you guys that I don't, like, get high off mushrooms. <laughs> but it also brings to mind the golden mushroom that we got. Oh my word, we got it. 29 episodes ago? 29? Yeah, 29 episodes ago. We got it on episode 16. And it is now episode 45. I was actually... <laughs> I was pu I was punching that into my calculator while I was talking to make sure my math was right. <laughs> that way I wouldn't have to have future pal facepalm at my lack of on-the-fly math. But yeah, we... We got the golden mushroom on episode 16. I want to refresh your guys' memory. Uh, we got it for returning uh, the teacup that M Molster Molly took from the tea master, and we returned that. And in return, and that guy gave us a golden mushroom. So all these episodes later, 29 episodes, someone wants it, and we've had it uh, growing in our inventory for a long time. I was wondering why those golden peaches tasted so strangely. I've spent decades trying to master the culinary arts, but I've yet to make a dish that truly satisfies me. If only I could get my paws on one of those golden mushrooms, I'm sure I could prove my true skill by making the ultimate dish. I already have this huge pot and giant stove. All I need now is a golden mushroom. Then I'll master the art of cooking. That's my dream. It's a very good dream. Hmm? Could it be? Is that? Is that the legendary golden mushroom? That sparkling golden color. That captivate, captivating shape. Yes, there can be no doubt. Where in the world did you find it, pup? Oh, never mind that. With that mushroom, I could fulfill my dream. My dream to master the art of cooking. Please, pup, please. I must have that mushroom. What could a dog do with it anyway? Good point. I mean, all it's doing is is growing on my, my holy bones and stuff. Offer the golden mushroom? Uh, yeah, I'd be glad to get it out of my inventory. I kind of don't like staring at it anymore. Even though I barely spend any time on the menus. But it just water off a duck's back. Offer the golden mushroom? Sure, I'll offer it. Here you go. Really? Oh, thank you. You're such a good pup. With this golden mushroom, I'll attempt to make the ultimate dish. My long-cherished dream will finally be fulfilled. Uh... Is that it? <laughs> Certainly that's not it, because, like... There should be a cutscene of him making it. I want a cutscene, dog. Hmm? Oh, yes, the ultimate dish. He forgot? <laughs> and I think he has a tail as well. I was so overwhelmed by emotion when the legendary golden mushroom came into my paws. Yeah, he said paws. So, he's dressed, he looks like a cat, and his waitress looks like a cat. And he calls his hands paws? What? I, I don't get it. I, I honestly don't get it. Whatever reference they're trying to make is flying right over my head. 
Not a day has passed without my preparing this huge pot and giant stove for this day. And now the time has come. I shall wait no more, pup. Today, the fire chef Yama will prepare the ultimate dish. Now watch carefully, pup. You may learn a thing or two. Behold, Yama's super deluxe fan the flames dance. Ha! Ha! Yeah! Yeah! We're expected to use the brush here. I hope you guys paid attention to uh, the surroundings, because if you didn't, then you're in a world of trouble. But I did. And the symbol we're supposed to draw is a fiery infinity symbol. And that quest, which started on episode 16 before we even got Inferno, will reward us with a new brush technique. Ah, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. My power had diminished while you were away, but that man's zeal and your own pure heart have restored my power. I have harnessed his fervent energy to bestow upon you a new power. Unleash your wrath in the mighty fire burst. I did it! My long cherished dream, the ultimate dish, is ready. I give you rice stew eruption! Well, what do you think, pup? Pretty impressive, eh? 50 praise? What's up? Not bad, but we can't tell how it tastes just by looking at it. But enough about that. I never thought you'd get the power of Moegami here, Ami. Remember that mark on the wall? Draw that, and you can invoke the power of Inferno anytime you want. Use it to reduce those mean old monsters to ashes. <laughs> they won't know what hit them. You consumed rice stew. Sp specialty of the house. Fills astral pouch completely... Okay, if you guys had a bunch of empty astral pouches, or if you upgraded your, um, your astral pouch... Actually, if you want to upgrade your astral pouch, wait to do it before you come here. Because... Look at, look at that. One of these rice stews fills our astral pouch completely. Say you had, I don't know, three empty astral pouches. You just got three lives. Uh, and in addition to, and also, now that I realize it, this quest did not, did not um, require us to pay one yen out of our pocket. Not one. Uh, to, to do this quest, we just needed the gold, mush, golden mushroom. And to get that, we just had to, uh, to take the teacup from Molly. No money, no money out of our pockets, and we get um, we get a new brush technique, 50 praise, possibly like three or four lives, um, and anything else? Uh, well, the satisfaction of helping this cat dude fulfill his lifelong dream. I wonder what else, go what other goals he has in life now. Hmm. Come to think of it, I was so worried about the heat that I completely forgot how the ultimate dish would taste. So I guess my study of the art of cooking must go on. I must continue until I fulfill my cherished dream. Didn't you just do that? I don't know. What he should have done with the golden mushroom, in my humble opinion, is he should have, like, started growing it. Maybe he did. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he did, so he could keep making the dish, because that is a fantastic dish if it fills our astral pouch. So let's see, uh, let's talk to her again. A big smile is the key to serving customers. Okay, good to know. Uh, but if you remember, that, that guy that we talked to at the beginning of this episode, the ghost man, man bear pig, uh, he said he'd be here in the nighttime. So let's go ahead and cut on over to nighttime in the restaurant to see what he has to say. And trust me, it does have relevance to be here at nighttime. Just want to point that out. I'm not just talking to people. There is relevant relevance. Be right back. Here we are, Yama's restaurant at night time. Uh, there's the guy that we saw earlier and another guy drinking over there. So let's talk to the, the city dweller that we saw earlier. It's no good. I'm finished, completely and utterly finished. Of all the luck, the mist may have disappeared from the city, but my life couldn't be gloomier. Burp. That was a horrible sounding imitation of a burp. My apologies. I'm finished, completely and utterly finished. 
I finally got together enough money to buy Kiku a, a present, and someone's gone and snatched it away. Without that chrysanthemum hairpin, I'm finished. Completely and utterly finished. So I was right. He was crying out for help in his own sad, ghostly, fee-like way. Fee-like. That, that sounds too much like feline. Especially with the waitress, which... Where are you, waitress? You're just running around. Oh, I'm so busy. Hey, you're in my way! Okay, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're a very slow runner, by the way. Okay, so this guy. Uh, we cannot help the city dweller right now. In fact, we cannot help him for a good long time. So he'll just have to stew in his misery for, like I said, a good long time. And also, I think she's just jogging. Like, I think she's just trying to get a workout. So anyway, this guy. This is who we want to talk to, and this is who concerns us right now. Masu. Hey, bring me another drink. My name's Masu. I'm a warrior protecting, uh, traveling the land to perfect my martial arts. Traveling warrior, Masu. The truth is, there are just some monsters I just have to defeat. I have a list of all of them in, my, in a special manifest. I call it the, ma the Monster Manifest. They all deserve what's coming. When I finally, emer uh, finally manage to defeat all of them, then I can stand proud and tall as a true warrior. All the people here are a little bit tipsy. I never let that monster man manifest out of my sight. Until I've, until I've defeated every last one of the scoundrels in it, my journey will never end. What do you want, Mutt? Do you want to see my monster manifest? Sure. Why not? Take a look. It's no skin off my back. Dishonorable Tempest. Foul Thunder. Petulant Lightning. Storm of degre Degradation. Shame Flasher. And they are all ice lips, which actually... <laughs> oh, that Wow, this is really good. Uh, because we just got Inferno, we can get the floor finishers on all of them without needing uh, torches. That's why Fire Burst is so good, and you must grab it. Like, seriously, grab it. As soon as, as, soon as uh, the city is cleared of mist, you want to grab it before you leave the city. That's how useful it is. All of the monsters in there deserve what's coming to them. And I'm the only one who can do it, too. Or us. By association, you. But it's also us by association. You, sir. Uh. Goodbye. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. Okay, so we're going to be completing the monster list because, spoilers, it gives us a gold dust. And I would like to get a gold dust because we have none left. So I will cut. When I leave here, I will cut to the first uh, Demon Scroll. FYI, they are... Why do I, why do I use that? I should never say FYI again in my life. Uh, they're, all the Demon Scrolls for us to defeat are in Ryoshima Coast. So, yeah, and there are very few of them compared to, like, the Taka Pass monster, li monster list. So, uh, when I leave here, I will be at the first Demon Scroll. Let's go! This quest, quest will go very shortly if I cut around. All right, the first demon scroll we have to face is this one. I show it on the map right here. And without further ado, let's go in the first one. I will show the first battle and then uh, subsequent, yeah, subsequent battles I will cut out. Props to me for using the word subsequent off the top of my head. Okay, let's go and actually this is the first use of the exorcism beads. So, yeah. And oh wait, my bad. This is not nice lips. This is a thunder ear. Uh, my apologies. I got that wrong. Hey, that monster has an exercising arrow stuck in it, too. That means somebody really wanted to get rid of the monster. Don't let it get away. I won't. Okay. Uh, the strategy for the, the Thunder Ear is just like any other, uh, any other wheel-type enemy we faced. Uh, I just like to use Veil of Mist all the time with these types of enemies because it really, really helps. So just use Veil of Mist and attack it. You don't really need to use Subreflector counterattacks anymore. Those are a little bit outdated for this type of enemy. So let's go ahead and finish him off. And his floor finisher uh, is not that. Oh, I didn't get the floor finisher on him because it wouldn't let me. Snap. Okay, well, the floor finisher is on screen right now. I don't know why I use Gale Storm because I'm pretty sure it's Power Slash. 
but I, I just want to try it in case I was wrong, but I wasn't able to get the full finisher anyway because of the, uh, the little cutscene thing. That was one of those, those miscreants from the Monster Manifest, and we just happened to find it. Or I knew where it was. Boy, you never know what you'll find next. You know what? Well, you know that monster manifest you have? Well, you can cross out the monster you've taken care of. Uh, I oh, I don't know what I took care of. Snap. It was a dishonorable tempest, I believe it was. Let's. No, not that name. Uh, snap. This. Uh, foul thunder. Thank you. You should have said that first place, Isun. Instead of leading me to dry, uh, hanging me, hanging me out to dry. Okay, that's one less monster. And just so you know, I'm doing these um, on the map. Uh, no, no, duh. I'm doing these on the map. S yeah, I know, I know, Isun. I I'm doing these from the entrance to the city onwards. So j just so you know, I'm not going from the top down. I'm basically just following the coast and you know working systematically that way. So the next. Demon, uh, Demon Scroll. I'm actually not going to cut to this one because we are right next to it. It's right over here. Right there. This is it. So let me show it on the map. There we go. And I will cut these battles out. And yeah, I will see you in the next Demon, uh, at the next Demon Scroll. Let's go ahead and take care of this one. Storm of degrada Degradation appeared. I'm going to show the names, then I'm going to cut to me defeating it. And, yeah. Okay, the next one is right here on the map. So, let me go and take care of that one. Let's see who is in this one. It is... Dishonorable Tempest appeared. Also, that fire I spawned right on top of me, so I hope I don't take damage from that. No, I didn't. Okay, meet you on the other side. Okay, the second to last one, which is also the fourth Demon Scroll we have to face, is right here on the map, right next to the origin mirror of Ryoshima Coast. So let me go and face this one and see who it is. Which I shouldn't really say that any all the time, because otherwise with the cuts, it's going to be, let's see who this one is, let's see who this one is. And that is probably annoying. Shame Flasher. Okay, so it's actually just a lone guy. Okay, well, that's strange. Okay, uh, I'll meet you at the other one, which... Okay, right here on the map is where the final Demon Scroll is. So, I'll actually show the battle for this one, just for grins and giggles. Also, I would like to note that I have 96 Demon Fangs, so I, I won't get enough Demon Fangs to buy the uh, Golden Ink Pot from this battle. Although, on the way back, I have decided that I'm actually going to go into one Demon Scroll, just so I can get the remaining three... Demon Fangs, I requ I require to get that because we've got we've gone on without Golden Ink Pot long enough, so I feel like it's finally time to grab it. Plus, it's not like I'm grinding uh, 70 Demon Fangs; it's only three, so I I feel like that's a fair compromise. I don't like grinding in the LP, just because I I kind of want to show off how Okami doesn't need grinding. Like you never hardly ever need to grind in Okami. It's just it, they, it, they designed the game so that you wouldn't have to like purposefully they consciously did it you can you can tell a lot of the time um, like how they they give you items and yes I've gotten all of them they, they give you items that um, that you need at the moment so like if you need to warp to a certain place they give you a, uh, a mermaid coin so you don't have to grind for 2,000 yen so you know it they, they don't really need them just just saying. Uh, you don't really need to grind, so... Yeah, I, I just kind of want to point that out. Okay, I'll go into the first Demon Scroll I see, which is this one, and then I will meet you back at that, uh, that sa samurai, that drunken samurai, in Yama's Restaurant. Okay, let's go ahead and collect our gold dust, which we know we're going to be getting. Zzz, zzz. You know good monsters, I'll, I'll show you. Uh, wake you, wake up! Wakey, wakey! Hurr! Did you just throw up on me? You better not. No good. Wait, what? Um. Um. Bite? How, how, how I do? Uh, can I have, like, the chef make something that's super, super spicy? Like, how am I supposed to wake him up? No, he says the same thing. Okay. 
Uh, let's see. My guess is that I have to come in here during the day. So, I will be right back. There you are. Okay, you cannot uh, wake Masu when he's drunk in the restaurant at night. Instead, you must find him during the day. Masu, you no good thieving mutt. You showed Masu's monster manifest. Grr. Look at the names of my monsters. They've all been crossed out. I just don't understand it. But it's wrong of me not to recognize the good you did. A true warrior would acknowledge such a thing. I don't need this anymore. You can keep it. You obtained gold dust. You really are quite something, Mutt. Well, unlike most quests, that didn't really have a happy ending. We kind of made him angry. Uh, he, he... We ruined his goal. Like, the with the uh, Druna, sta Druna statues? Druna? Yeah, Druna. Uh, Druna statues, you know, us dotting the eye kind of means that they accomplished the goal, even though they didn't. Same with that. He accomplished a goal he'd never worked for, and he's upset about that. So we may have a gold dust, but that wasn't quite the happy ending that I had wanted. So, there's one last thing I want to do in this video. I, I know, here we go, but we'll, we'll do that next episode. Uh, Scout's Honor, we'll do it next episode. But what I want to do is, since we have so much money, I want to first sell off all my stuff, and then I'll meet you over by the dojo so we can learn all of the techniques, or mo a lot of them, that we di that we weren't able to get before because we were dirt poor. And that should make it, that will stall for time long enough for us to accumulate enough praise to uh, to upgrade our wallet. We can upgrade. I, I'm not sure what I want to upgrade next, but we will do something. I don't know. So I'll meet you over there after I've sold my stuff. Okay, I only had uh, two crystals to my name to sell, so I only got two th uh, ten thousand yen. Sorry for those. So I am left with a grand total of two hundred and forty thousand yen and some pocket change. So that is definitely enough to get the uh, the last remaining um, techniques that this dojo has to offer. There are multiple dojos in the game other than the ones that we have discovered thus far. Uh, I, actually, I think there's only like one more, but that's besides the point. Uh, we have enough money to purchase those, so let's enter and I can show you what he has to offer. Okay, uh, let's see. I, I can skip past all of his text because it's just rudimentary stuff. We have five wins, which will add a fifth hit to a reflector combo. We have spirit Armageddon, which will enable us, enable us to increase our rosary attack. That is good. Especially because I just got a rosary. That is really good. I'm, well, uh, I'm gonna, going to be getting all of these uh, in an optimal situation. But in case I can't get all of them, that is one I'm definitely going to pick up. Uh, Wailing Mirror, if we equip if Reflectors as a main sub, it'll increase attack power. Uh, and then Golden Fury, which I, I think I can afford. Uh, press the C button to insult foes and get Demon Fangs. Huh. <laughs> That's really useful. I will get that if I can, but I'll get it last because there are three other things that kind of out prior to prioritize it right now. So, uh, five wins, you are mine. And I can just skip past all of this text because it doesn't matter. So, while this, uh, while this learning, <laughs> while this occurs, I will, uh, I kind of want to go over something that I, I fixed a couple episodes back, but... This is, like, the first episode that I'm able to talk about it because of my recording schedule. Um, I had fixed it... Just trust me. I had recorded, like, three episodes in succession. Uh, the episode before the Pals Play and then the two Pals Play episodes. Um, so I wasn't really able to talk about this. But I can now. Um, I, in case you guys haven't noticed, uh, there's something different about my videos, which I'm really happy to talk about. Um, it is... Okay... Go, go back on any of my videos before episode 42. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, 42. Um, it might be 42 or earlier, but just just click on like episode 39 or something. Uh, go back to Skyward Sword and, and look at one of those episodes. Uh, you'll notice that there's, a le that there's letterboxing on the right and left sides. I'm not talking about the very early episodes of Skyward Sword. I'm talking about all the way up to the last couple episodes, there has been slight letterboxing on all of my videos. And I, I didn't like that. Like, it was just something that rubbed me the wrong way. Especially with the end slate. 
where, um, in, ca in case you guys didn't notice the end slate, I keep saying that, uh, in case you guys didn't notice, I need to stop. Um, the end slate before it reached beyond that letterboxing, so it just looked really, really funky. I, I don't really like to point out flaws of my channel, but that was something that I had a, I had a problem with for a long time, and I didn't want to... I didn't really want to get rid, I mean, I, I didn't really want to make the end slate different because it would mess up some stuff, like resolution-wise, it would make it look a little bit weird. Um, so, I, I kept it as it was. So, I had this problem for a long time, for a hundred and, about 120 episodes, actually more, about 125 episodes, I believe now. And, I had this problem. Just recently, I figured out how to fix it. I'm not going to bore you guys with the, the specifics of this tale, but needless to say, I just found a way to uh, size the video horizontally without having to stretch it vertically. Before, I didn't know how to do that. I know, that's really sad, but I, I just didn't see the option before. And it took me this many episodes to find it, and now that I did, uh, my videos now stretch from all the way to the, of the left side of the screen all the way to the right side of the screen with no letterboxing. Except for, I believe there's a very, very slight letterbox? But that's something that YouTube is is putting in. So, yeah, I finally fixed it. Okay, uh, with that explanation out of the way, I think that I'm going to speed up. And, uh, well, not play music, because I remember I did, um, I did Salesman Pal, I believe it was? I did Salesman Pal all the way back when we first did, uh, the, the dojo of... Shinshu Field, and I think that Salesman Pal has been waiting long enough. It's time for him to come out of retirement and continue to sell cars. So I, at this point, I will speed up and focus on the on the game, and uh, you guys can have some hilarity. So let's go ahead and grab a uh, Spirit Armageddon, which will increase our rosary attack rate, like I've said before. Let's skip past this text and run on in. Let the lesson begin. We'll practice the Spirit Armageddon Rosary technique, and I'll skip this text because it's not necessary. Yes, I understand. Even though I just skipped past your text. Okay. Uh, yes, I understand everything. Just let me let me fight things, dog. Let me let me beat up uh, scarecrows. Okay. Let's go ahead and equip exorcism beads as our main again, and let's go and fight this thing with our uh, improved hit rate. Oh man, that is good. Wow. Look at that. Every single hit connects now. It's not like oh we'll hit a couple times and then we'll miss and then we'll hit another couple times and then we'll just rest and watch you guys do the work, dog. Not, let the let the sub let the sub reflector just do all the damage. That, that, that'll give us a nice time to drink our lemonade. Yeah, but now it doesn't do that. Now these guys are like, whoa, we just drank our amp. We're ready to party. We're ready to hit people with our electrical whip, which looks like Zero Suit Samus. Even though we actually we didn't come before. Actually, did this game become come before Zero Suit Samus's de debut? I, was her debut in Metroid Prime Corruption or Other M? You guys, you guys are probably face palming uh, with my lack of, of Metroid knowledge. But I've never played. Well, that's a lie. I played Metroid like once, and that was the multiplayer. So, yeah, I, I kind of embarrassed, but you, know, you, do, you guys do the thing. You can't, you can't match my dunks. You can't stop my hustle. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this one. Next is Wailing Mirror. I don't really need to explain this, so I'm just going to cut this one out. Uh, we're go we're getting really high up on time for this episode, so I'm going to cut out uh, my learning of Wailing Mirror since it just increases our attack power. Nothing special. Okay, uh, beer back. Okay, I'm going back into uh, normal speed because I would like to actually explain this technique. Uh, because this one's unique. It gives us a new move entirely. It gives us a whole new option in battle. The other ones don't. They're just like an upgrade to what we already have. But this one, like I said, is unique. So I'm going to cover this one. It costs 100,000 yen, which, because I'm I'm rich, I can buy this with 50,000 yen to spare. Uh, let's see. This one actually goes in tandem with Brown Rage, sort of. But I won't, I'll be going over that one when we have 2 million yen, which will be a long time from now. You thought we were rich now? Well, think again, because one day we will have 2,000 yen to buy that. Which I don't think I ever bought in my own playthrough. And I can skip this. Okay, let the lesson begin. We'll practice the Golden Fury God technique. Take these tips to heart and remember them as we train. Golden Fury God technique tips. During battle, press the C button to insult the enemy. Doing so will cause your foe to drop a demon fang. Uh, well, do you understand? Yes, I do. Okay, let let me actually show it to you because insult the enemy doesn't really doesn't really uh it leaves a lot to the imagination. <laughs> yes, we have 
we have the innate ability to th do this. You know why? Because the innate ability of Golden Fury. You guys, uh, I'm I'm wondering if you, how how many of my viewers have actually caught on what this is. Golden and Insult. Hmm. I wonder what it is. Well, we have the innate ability to do so. In fact, Amaterasu's always had this ability. Mark the territory. Mark mark that territory and do damage and steal demon fangs. Steal the honor from these people. Like seriously, do I need do I need to riff on this? Do I really need to to make a joke about this? <laughs> like I I'm I, I could if I stood here long enough just mashing C, I could I could rack up my combo to 99 by just urinating on this <laughs> on this scarecrow. I I'm giving you guys the full effect of the 360 pan here so you guys can see it in pretty much 3D because that's necessary. That is absolutely necessary. We're, we're two thirds of, of the two, two thirds of the way up to max uh, max combo. Yeah. <laughs> I will be using this a lot in battle because it doesn't really matter for insulting enemies, but you can steal a demon, uh, yeah, demon fang that does not count as part of their floral finisher. So basically, you can get one additional demon fang from every single enemy. So yeah, and with that, we've maxed out our combo meter by doing nothing but urinating on this on this scarecrow. Okay, uh, that's it. That's enough. In fact, can I, can I do it on you? No, I can't. Oh. I was hoping I could do it on him. Maybe you'd say something, but alas, I cannot. Okay, let's go ahead and leave here. I uh, I hope I hope you have like a, a a weird shop back that does like liquid because you you have a lot of cleaning up to do, like a mop or something. Okay, those are all the techniques I need to learn right now. All the ones I can afford right now. I have no idea how you would um uh, how you would be able to rack up two million yen without having to grind for like ten hours, but. Uh, that's for the people who who have the time to do such things. As for me, that is going to be it for this episode. Next time, with our new techniques in PAW, we'll head to Queen Himiko's palace now that we have the fire tablet in order to cross the lava pool in her palace and reach her. Finally, I put it off long enough, but that is what we are going to be doing next episode. I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. And if you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment and tell me how I can make next episode so that you would like it. Okay. See you guys next time after I get this treasure, which I've run by for a long time. And it's a crystal! Really, crystals are everywhere.